Hey everybody, what's going on right now? Well, it is hard to say. Is the economy going up or is the economy going down? Many people have different opinions either way, but no matter what you do, make sure that you stay tuned and watch this video all the way to the end. I'm going to give you enough information to decide for yourself what you think. Go ahead and make sure that you buckle up, grab a pad and a pen to write down this information and make sure that you tap your very own like button until it turns blue. Because today when you tap that like button until it turns blue, this video will get out there to many, many more people who need it. Also, don't forget to subscribe to stay up to date on the latest housing and financial information. I post a housing market update at least once a week. Now, if you didn't already know, currently homes are flying off the shelves. Nationally, most homes sell in 20 days or less. That's a sign of a very strong real estate market. Many, many people over the last three months have been taking advantage of these low interest rates and have become qualified to take out a home loan. The number of people who have applied for home mortgages this year has climbed. 1.7% more people have applied for home loans this week when compared to last week. To put this a little bit more into perspective, 24% more people have applied for home loans this year when compared to last year. That's roughly one quarter more people this year applying for home loans when compared to last year. And last year was a very competitive market as well, so we're growing from there. I know because we bought a home this time last year and even back then it was very competitive and there were multiple bidding wars, meaning that multiple people wanted to buy a single home and they fought out other buyers by offering a higher price, going back and forth until the prices get higher and higher. The market is good for homeowners too. Current homeowners are taking advantage of these low rates as well. Home loan refinances are up 3% when compared to last week. Home loan refinances are up 80% when compared to last year. So what is refinancing? For those of you who are not already familiar with that word, it's basically taking out a new loan to pay off your current home loan. However, if the current interest rate is low enough, you can end up spending less money per month simply by refinancing with a new loan. We applied for a refinance and we could save roughly $145 per month if we go forward with it, with these low interest rates. That's roughly $1,700 saved total per year. Should we do it? I need your help, give your opinion, let me know in the comments down below. Prices of homes are up as well. The average home loan taken out is $372,000. That is a record breaker, that is the highest national average ever. Keep in mind that is just the loan. People are also paying a down payment on top of these high loans. So home prices are very high, not just in popular city areas, but throughout the country as well. So we're said to be in a recession, but it doesn't feel like the recession of 2008. Home prices are high and people are refinancing their home like crazy. This doesn't feel like any recession that I've ever heard of. <coughs> so the big question that everybody's asking is, will we come out of this with little to no economic downside? And that is a really hard question to answer. However, many people are getting their jobs back. We don't know for sure how many of these unemployed people have temporarily lost their jobs just because it's unsafe to physically return back to work versus how many people permanently lose their job and not come back. We also have a record high of mortgage delinquencies, meaning that people have not been paying their home mortgages. However, many of these delinquencies are actually authorized by the banks. Banks have allowed people to go into forbearance. I previously made a video addressing this. A link to that title video will appear in your top right corner. We don't know for sure how many of these people will end up never paying their mortgage again and end up losing their house. When people lose their house, they're either forced to sell it or they go into foreclosure. Either way, in this case, many more homes will be for sale. And when many homes are for sale at once, that floods the market with inventory, which causes home prices to suddenly and dramatically drop. We really don't know how many of these people in forbearance are having a genuine economic hardship and how many of these people applied for forbearance simply to hold onto their cash and not make payments for a maximum of about a year. So let me know, what do you think? Are we headed towards an imminent housing market decline when forbearances are due in 2021? Or will the market just continue to travel up? Do me a favor, look into your magic eight ball and when you get an answer, comment down below. Thank you everybody for watching. I'm so glad to bring this useful information to you, especially in a time like this. And don't forget, just like my little nephew Nathan says, Don't forget to subscribe. Give me a big thumbs up.